Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Front Door. And before we learn anything about Azure Front Door, let's understand the foundation of the Anycast methodology because Front Door works on Anycast methodology. So let's have a look on it. What exactly Anycast? Anycast is a routing and addressing methodology. So it just looks for the, as you know that for the routing, it's not just a single destination. It can have one or more of the routing paths or or maybe you may have two or more destinations. So routes will be decided by selecting the best path based on the latency and also the low cost of that specific route and distance and number of hops. So all these will be decided in the Anycast method and it uses um, even the content delivery CDN network. We also call CDN um, which is the edge of the service where it actually caches the information so that the end users will pull up that information from the closest uh, CDN network the information. So now let's understand about the front door. So we know that front door works on any cast methodology. So it actually delivers based on the layer seven capabilities uh, for any kind of uh, any kind of a global load balancing and the site accelerator services for your web application. It's going to offer. Let's understand here site acceleration. So site acceleration, when I say, let's say a user coming from India wanted to visit a web page which is hosted in maybe California a server location. So what he what he does is actually he uses the CDN network. So it just goes to Asia specific CDN and post to that it will actually use Microsoft Backbone network might be your application from coming from your on premises or maybe from the cloud it doesn't matter what happens is it uses the microsoft backbone network so you have very low latency and faster uh, site loading capabilities that's where uh, front door comes into the picture if it is your on premises a uh, web application what happens is definitely that was not hosted in Microsoft Azure cloud so what happens is whatever the possible route is there till that point it uses the Microsoft backbone network and from there it will uh, route with the ISPs so still you get the uh, that advantage of the front door and the web application will be faster in terms of the loading so in the normal days what we used to do is we used to have a single web application and um, that web application if you want a faster speed we used to uh, use the CDN network as a content delivery network now what happened with the Azure front door it actually apart from the CDN network it also uses the Microsoft backbone network so your site will get these uh, faster loading capabilities uh, for your end users at the same time the security is not at all compromised because it's going to work on a layer 7 capabilities which is offering you for for example the SSL load or path based routing let's see we worked with the application gateway where uh, slash uh, videos should only go to a specific website all that uh, kind of you know, functionalities can be used uh, within the Azure front door so it's the best solution in terms of uh, using for the site acceleration services and the faster failover and also caching capabilities all that are available with the help of front door and it is also a uh, regional specific uh, you can you know go for the multi-regional uh, failover also so that's the uh, major advantage with the Azure front door and if you look at uh, all other front door capabilities like global web application to get secure and fast delivery network that's what we talked and we talked about the gaining the speed of delivery content with the low latency we also talked about uh, it actually uses the layer 7 for HTTP or HTTPS layer so it actually back and uses any cast methodology we know that what is any cast methodology now and um, it also provides a range of uh, routing models and health monitoring options that are available and uh, th this is uh, this is also securing option uh, like session affinity and configuring SSL and application level security you are re rewriting header information can be rewrite URL based uh, routing all that are possible with the Azure front door let's also have a look on the pricing uh, the pricing based the pricing is purely based on your size of the Jones based bandwidth because it's a front door at the end it's a bandwidth is a matter also the routing rules that are 
um, you're going to use and palaver beast so that's the same thing like application gateway where we used even for the routing beast um, and also uh, inbound data transfer uh, will be charged so all these uh, even the uh, first handed domains as a free and after that it's going to charge so these are the uh, normal costs that are applicable for as your front door and also you can use the for the security purpose web application firewall WAF with the integration of the CDN then the rule based pricing will be applicable which we land with the web application firewall so this is all about the pricing let's jump into demo and have a look on it how best we can configure before we jump into the demo we have uh, two web applications which are default like you know you just go to the uh, app services and create two web applications and then once you create the two applications i have chosen here the two different location one from the central use and other one east use why we need this is because there are three different steps that needs to be uh, followed when we try to create front door let's uh, try to create here front door so front door and then uh, it actually asks for the three different uh, steps that needs to be uh, followed in terms of you know configuration side if you see here the front door domains and also the backend poles and the routing rules so these three steps needed so the first thing is the front door is nothing but your domain name but that uh, that is the front uh, Door where you are actually opening with that URL, and then in the back end, you have the waiting all that um, configuration like priority and uh, failover, all that can be configured, and also the routing rules can be configured according to that. So, I'm gonna use the two web applications that, that were created in the back end pool, but as a first step, we are gonna actually create the front, uh, uh, front end especially the domain name so before doing anything i'm just choosing here my resource group i'm going back to the configuration that's nothing but the three steps and i'm just adding here uh, here so that it's actually open up a new blade where i need to give here a name so i'm just giving uh, here demo uh, example this name must be available otherwise it doesn't work because it's a dot azure ft.net so i'm just giving ft demo paddy dot azure ft.net so this name can be again you can configure your own dns uh, or azure dns uh, to upon to a right domain name and if you see here you can also configure when you're actually configuring the front end host like the session affinity and also web application firewall that's not but a WAF also can be enabled here and you can integrate that uh, in terms of the security point so I'm just choosing the default later point we can also configure these uh, settings uh, so once we have configured the front door uh, now the backend pools are imp important here so I'm going to choose here the two web applications that are available so I'm just going to give here uh, FT uh, backhand uh, pool and uh, here I'm just choosing clicking one so here you have multiple options let's say you have your own uh, public IP or maybe your custom host which is nothing but your on-premises network specific web application you can use this and also for the traffic manager you can use even public IP API management application gateways and storage and storage these are the difference between the classic and the new so for the cloud services so in our case we are going to choose the app services uh, that's i'm treating as the backend so if you see here the backend host name we have the two of them one would be the central years other one would be the asia so, so east asia so i'm just choosing the first one as the central years and here the ports uh, of that web application and the priority you can configure and weight you can configure so i'm just clicking add so that it's just added with the priority one that's the first one it's going to open central years and i'm going to add uh, one more uh, giving here as the asia specific so i'll just choose here uh, web application as the app service and then i'll just choose here asia and click on add so now i have the two of two of the web applications which are running as a backend so i'll simply click on add and if at all you're actually using anything route based let's say uh, if you have something or videos should only route back to somewhere else you can also do that with the route based and uh, you can configure your sample size 
all that configuration for the load balancing and these are the probe uh, specific methods where it's going to check within 30 seconds so i'm just clicking on add so that would actually configure my back end pull now it's time for me to configure the routing rules where where for example i wanted all routes should only load back to or specific uh, videos or maybe in a specific website so that where it should go or maybe I can give here uh, videos or something like that so that what happens is it actually goes to that specific front end so in our case uh, we are actually configuring the default one so I'll just give here as a rule name uh, default route uh, which we are just giving here and also you can actually choose here your back end poles and also you can redirect the route type uh, and the front end like HTTPS, HTTP and also match request and URL can be rewriting and also you can enable here caching uh, uh, caching features also can be enabled and dynamic compression so that you can save the uh, cache size and all that uh, you can simply click on add that's gonna actually uh, gonna create uh, a default route for us so let's uh, go to the tags you can add the tags for the billing purpose and then uh, review and create so deployment in progress now the deployment is completed so let's go to the resource once the deployment is completed you can actually go back to the front-end host and try to browse the specific URL so it actually browses and uh, this specific URL or the web page is actually loading based on the designer configuration that we have done in the backend. So if I just go back to the settings and front end designer and the backend polls, so here we have given the weight uh, based on this weight. So if you see here the priority for these two are the same. Let's say I I have this uh, specific web page might be coming from the uh, central US or maybe South Asia how this is defined is if you give the same priority what would happen is it actually goes and checks for the latency uh, sensitivity in milliseconds and Microsoft does that calculation for you and based on that actually the load balancing would happen and for the end user it gives the uh, specific requirement in my case I'm actually browsing from Asia so it might be coming from the Asia website if it you want to do some kind of a customization and know exactly from which web page it is coming you can actually customize this specific web page to something else and then you can easily identify the specific web page or web app and though in case if you wanted to modify this specific web page or priority say let's say I want to configure two so that's gonna actually configure two and update and then save so that's gonna save the configuration for your uh, complete front door uh, specific URL configuration so this is about the backend pools that we have discussed and for the routing you can actually enable and configure here the routing uh, configuration let's say you want a specific uh, route should take for only videos content to a specific web app all that can be configured by here uh, which is very similar to your application gateway configuration what we have done in the previous lectures and also you can configure your cache also and uh, dynamic comparison all that we have you know uh, gone through while we are configuring this or configuring the wizard or for the front door so similar configuration you can rewrite or reconfigure the required settings here I hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this